Hello my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm sure you guys have already read the title. I filmed a what I eat in a week video. It's actually five days. I'm sorry, I started filming this video late. So it was five days, so it's like a working week. Just ignore that, okay? I filmed a what I eat in a week video, except there was a little bit of a twist where everything I ate had to be based off of an emoji. And I originally went to this video thinking, I'm gonna make every single meal, every single food I eat, try to look like the emoji. That didn't happen. So I just took inspiration from the emojis. So yeah, that is the gist of the video. Pretty self-explanatory. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you absolutely hate it, which I would not blame you for, you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. And of course, subscribe for more content by your certified damsel in distress. Also, quick little self-promo. Please help me get to 10,000 followers on Instagram so I can do the swipe up link feature. My Instagram is always in the description box and I always have it like slide up on the screen somewhere. I just want to be able to do the swipe up feature. It'd be really handy. Help your girl out. <laughs> so I would say let's get on to the video, but before the video starts, I would like to hear a word from our sponsor for the day. I would like to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor. I got a sponsor. Today's sponsor is Yvette and I am so happy to be working with them because the main reason I decided to work with Yvette is because their values align a lot with mine. Their main mission with their company is to uplift women. They like to tell all women, regardless of age or body size, that you can still work out and look good while doing it. Something else that is very important to me is all of these are very affordable and they sent me a bunch of beautiful, beautiful clothes. Spoiler alert, I'm in love with all the things that they sent me. They use something called Cool Max technology, which I thought just sounded very fancy. And what Cool Max technology does, it protects the clothing from external damages like you exposure, sweat, sunscreen, and lotions. And these are all things that lead to shortening the lifetime of the sportswear. Coolmax technology kind of acts like a shield to protect the fabric from these damages. So with the Coolmax technology, you will find that it's very comfortable to wear and it's also durable for daily use and performs well in kind of all different types of training. The leggings that they sent me are these shift light high waist women's high support leggings. So I was a little nervous that they wouldn't fit me, but they actually fit me very snug, but I like kind of snug leggings when I'm working out, but I'm usually small in leggings and I really am happy with how these fit and I really like the material. I feel like I'll stay dry. Does that make sense? It's probably the Coolmax technology that they got. Also something about Yvette that I really like a lot is their very wide range of sizes. So it's very inclusive. Their sizes range anywhere from an extra small to a 5XL, which is awesome. And then for bras, it goes from a size A all the way up to a size F. Moving on to the bras, speaking of the bras, I am in love with the bras. This is my favorite bra that they sent me. And it looks like this one, it's zipped and I love the crisscross backing on it. It's actually called orange on the site, but I think it looks more like a red. This sports bra is so nice. I would wear this lounging around. I would wear it working out. It's so comfortable. I love it. And a medium fits perfectly for me. The next sports bra is called the Flea Women's High Support Sports Bra. And this sports bra is just very flattering and they're very supportive. I really like running. I don't do it all the time, but whenever I do, a lot of the sports bras that I own aren't really made for running, but for these, I can run in them and it doesn't hurt. If you know, you know. When you're running and you don't got a good bra on, it's a little painful. I really like the mesh detailing on this sports bra. I really like the back on it. It's just a very flattering fit. I like it a lot. This next sports bra is a power back high support running sports bra. This is gorgeous. I love the fit of this. This really makes the girls look A1. Like I love how this makes my chest look. <laughs> And the color is absolutely stunning. It's like this periwinkle blue. It's so pretty. I just really like the sports bra. They sent me three tank tops that are all the same. They're just different colors. I love tank tops like this. I love racer backs because I like how you can kind of show off your back and I like how you can still see the detailing of the sports bra. I think they're very flattering. I like how they sculpt at the bottom. And then the last thing that they sent me is this shift light ocean print pullover hoodie. And again, I really like the color. I really like the material. I think this is a good sweatshirt that you can just wear if you're kind of lounging around or if you're exercising. Yvette is also doing a Christmas code and they gave me a code. There's a code with my name in it. The codes as well as all of the things I showed you guys in this video, everything is going to be linked in the description box below. And all of these codes are valid until December 27th at 11.59 p.m. and that's in Pacific Standard Time. You can use the code Diana20 for 20% off site-wide if your order is $199 or over that, you can use the code Diana25 for 25% off your order. If you're really going crazy, you're trying to get some Christmas gifts for yourself and maybe some friends and family, and your order total ends up being $299 or over that, you can use the code Diana30 for 30% off. And they also offer worldwide free shipping. And once again, all these codes are valid until December 27th 
1159 PST. Also, if you follow Yvette Sports underscore official on Instagram, they offer a size guiding on the site or you can message them on Instagram and they will also help you that way. Thank you once again to Yvette for sponsoring this video and let's just get on with the actual video. <laughs> It is day one of this little challenge that I'm doing, and it is the emoji diet, eating like emojis. I don't know what I'm gonna tell this video yet. You guys know. First things first, I'm having a croissant. Mm -hmm. The idea for this video is very last minute. I was deciding if I should film it or not. In the middle of eating my croissant, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. So what I'm gonna try to do is not repeat any emojis. That's gonna be my goal, to not repeat any food emojis or anything like that. If I get desperate, I might. This clip is gonna be so long because I'm just taking so long to chew. I'm sorry. <sighs> so for my actual breakfast, because my croissant was just my pre-breakfast. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that pronunciation. I probably am. My apologies. That was my pre-breakfast. And now for my actual breakfast, I'm also gonna try. I don't know if it's gonna work for every single food emoji, but I'm gonna try to make it look the same. Like the dish I make, I'm gonna try to make it look like the food emoji. I don't know if it's gonna work but I think it'd be cool. But my actual breakfast is going to be some pancakes based off of the pancake emoji. Let's see how I do. Will it be perfect? Highly doubt it. Highly doubt it because it's me. I'm gonna try my best. I know you guys probably don't care, but I, I wanna try. Oh, I don't have enough batter. I should have made smaller pancakes. Whoops. Do I have enough batter? Actually, I might, I might, I might have just lied. No, I don't, I don't, I didn't lie. I don't have enough batter, I don't. The sizes are not exact. They aren't quadruplets, but they're all related Okay. Guys, don't worry. This pancake is not gonna go on the stack. I just wanna use up the rest of the batter. So let's put the ugly ones on the bottom. You put the pretty ones on top. So here's my stack of pancakes. And then from what it looks like on the emoji, I think that's syrup. I think it's syrup and then butter. Like I couldn't tell if it's just the butter melting, but I think it's syrup and then one little square of butter on top. You know, I'm not the type to drizzle, but for this, we will make an exception. Oopsies, I drizzle too much. Boom. So here is the finished product. I mean, it's not perfect. Like I said, the butter is sliding. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Well, now that you guys got the picture, I feel like it'll stay better if it's on that one. <laughs> Buttery. It doesn't look like a lot of butter. That's very overwhelming, but it's good. I'm not complaining. Hmm. So my lunch is going to be based off of this emoji. Yes, I'm making a salad. The only reason I'm actually doing this emoji is because I always let lettuce go bad. So I gotta use this up. So what I'm gonna do is I have like four of these left. These are the super greens veggie nuggets. And then I have three of these game time buffalo chicken tenders left. I'm just gonna make the rest of them. Step number one, plug in your air fryer. As that's cooking, I'll start assembling the salad. I'm really gonna start making more salad. I always let lettuce go bad. It's awful. An awful, awful habit. And this is something random. I don't know why I like to do this. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I like to do this, but I like to drizzle on some balsamic dressing when it's just the vegetables. I could literally just eat this. Balsamic, these fresh vegetables, oh, divine. And then once the veggie nuggets and the buffalo chicken tenders are done, I'll put that on top and then I will also add some sriracha tahini. I don't know why I do that, I just do. Also, something that I saw on TikTok is that someone made croutons out of bagels and I've been doing that whenever I make salads and it's so good. Maybe I should've used a bigger bowl. Definitely should have used a bigger bowl. This one is obviously not gonna look like the emoji, but if I really made it look like the emoji, it's not gonna be a good salad, okay? Like who wants to see me eat a salad that looks like the salad from SpongeBob? Oh yeah, that's definitely the coolest meal I ever saw. If I'm gonna make a salad, I'm gonna make it a good salad. Does it look like the emoji? No, it looks a million times better. Mm. Life is too short to eat boring salads. Mm. Of course, when I start recording, the train comes. Burger and fries based off of these two emojis. Oh, these fries look so beautiful. Glorious. And then here is the burger. I got something called the Wake and Bake. It's just a bacon cheeseburger, basically. Actually going to be doing a mukbang stream on Twitch, so I'm very excited. Oh my god! So here is the burger. Of course, it doesn't look identical to the emoji, but it's trying its best. Burger and fries. This train hates me, I swear. Gotta try a bite before it goes again. Mukbang time, hopefully the train will be gone by the time I start streaming. <laughs> I just finished streaming, the lighting is very bad, I apologize, but of course I have to finish off the night with something sweet. And I am going to be having a beautiful, a magnificent chocolate chip cookie to represent this emoji. Beautiful, uncanny. Mm. 
So do you guys remember how I was saying that I wanted to make all the foods and all the meals as similar as possible to the emoji? Um, I'm only going to do that when I'm in the mood. <laughs> I have decided to make waffles, but I really want chocolate chip waffles, you know? The waffle emoji is a very depressing waffle. That is a plain, plain ass waffle. There is no toppings, no syrup, no butter, no nothing. And life is too short to have plain ass waffles. I am going to be adding some chocolate chips because I'm not I'm not gonna not have syrup with my waffles, you know? Oh my god. I haven't used this waffle maker in such a long time. I forgot I did that. One eternity later. Okay, this one turned out fine, but I don't know. This one, the top got stuck. It like separated. Hmm. Are you a waffle or a pancake person? Mm. For lunch, I have decided I'm going to I was like contemplating if I should make this or if I should make some soup I'm just really craving a sandwich and no, I'm not I am NOT using the sandwich emoji What I'm going to do is I'm combining a bunch of different emojis along with a bagel emoji and making a breakfast sandwich for lunch So I have some just egg here for the egg. I have some vegan bacon for the cheese I'm using this veal life American cheddar. I don't know what it is because I took that off, but you know cheese I'm also gonna have some chips Chips are not an emoji, which is like, why are they not? I'm just really craving some chips. I'm just gonna use the potato emoji. Ow! Bagel, toasted, egg, uh, fried. Got two pieces of bacon. I love adding ketchup. Bacon, egg, cheese, on a bagel. Mm. So, oh, no, no, no. Getting a little steamy. For dinner, it's gonna be basic. It's gonna be simple and quick because I'm feeling lazy. And I'm just going to be making this emoji. Looks like very, 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 very plain spaghetti. Do you break your pasta or is that like offensive? <laughs> I'm gonna add a few more strands. Cook, bend, bend I say. Oh my God, she a water bender. Pasta bender? Pasta bender. That would be my element if I was an avatar. Pasta bender. And the emoji, they use a fork. If you guys don't know, I don't eat my spaghetti or pasta with forks. I use a chopstick, because it's easier that way. Guess it kind of looks something like that. Close enough. I know this might seem weird to eat pasta with chopsticks, but I swear, it's just easier for me. <laughs> Mm. Last thing for the night, I'm going to be having the ice cream emoji. The ice cream in the emoji looks like vanilla, but we are spicy. We are just some plain vanilla here. I actually really like vanilla, so. It doesn't look like the emoji at all, but it's gonna taste good regardless. <laughs> So, good morning my friends. It is day three and I was contemplating what I should have for breakfast. So I was thinking maybe I could have cereal because apparently this emoji is supposed to represent cereal. I stumbled upon this lovely emoji, which is a dumpling emoji, and I decided why not. Sesame oil is the superior oil. I've also been eating these knockoff Pringles. I'm gonna use the potato emoji as an excuse again. <laughs> Does that look like the emoji? Kinda. Mm. It is lunchtime and my lunch is going to be based off of these two. Yes, two, because I am very hungry. Emojis. So I got myself a falafel pita sandwich. Doesn't look exactly like the emoji, but you get the idea. And then I also got some hummus. It came with a nice little side of pita bread and a side of falafel. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow, it has been so long. I always get store-bought hummus, but this is some fresh hummus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy crap. That's so good. I love hummus so much. Damn, fresh hummus. Can't be beat. Oh my god. Uh, let me get a spoon. I'm gonna scoop some of the hummus, put it on this, this pita sandwich. I see myself ordering from this place very frequently, which is dangerous to my wallet, but good for my soul. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. So for dinner, I'm obviously basing my dinner off of the noodle emoji, and the noodle emoji doesn't have much to it. It really only has noodles, which if that's what you like, that's totally cool. Sometimes I'm in the mood for that too, but I was in the mood for a lot more substance with my noodles. There it is.
All right, I'm kind of in a rush. <laughs> my plan is I'm gonna get boba and a donut. I have to go all the way to this one place. I mean, I don't have to go, but it has my favorite boba and it's like a 15-ish minute drive. And then I have to drive to Whole Foods, which is another 15 minutes. Hopefully they have a donut and then come home and I have to stream and I have about an hour. Can I do it? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Turn left here. Can my GPS update please? At the light, turn left. Thank you. No, don't come in my lane. Stay in your lane. <sighs> people testing me today. I hope the car next to me isn't staring at me. Ha 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 ha. Mmm. 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 Texture is so chewy. It's so good. 30 minutes to drive to Whole Foods, grab a donut, 30 minutes to drive home. No, 30 minutes to drive to Whole Foods, grab a donut, and get home. I have 30 minutes to do that. I think I can do it. Starting route to Whole Foods Market. Hmm. Why does traffic exist? Just drive. I bet the car next to me can see that I'm filming myself. Oh god, the anxiety is kicking in. I think I'm a weirdo. Oh my god, I made it home. I got the donut. I have acquired the donut. But I also got myself because I just couldn't resist. I got an apple pie. Yes, I got an apple pie. I got a chocolate donut, like the emoji. No sprinkles because number one, I do not like sprinkles. And number two, doesn't come with sprinkles. I really don't like sprinkles. Mm. Whole Foods donuts, so good. Mm. And they're like the only place near me that sells vegan donuts that are just like simple. I feel like all the other places around me that sell vegan donuts, they go all like fancy with the flavors and the toppings. What if I just want a normal chocolate donut, you know? So my plan, I was gonna do a pizza mukbang. It was gonna be so nice. Uh, but we're under a tornado watch. I don't know if it'll be safe to get a pizza right now. I mean, not right now. I'm not gonna do it. Um, we're on tornado watch for another 20 minutes. So we'll see how the condition is outside in another 20 minutes. I did get a pie today. So I figured I could have a few bites of this pie. And a benefit about living alone is that I can just take a fork and take some bites out of this. I don't gotta care if anyone else is gonna be eating it. Gosh darn weather. Look at this pie though. This pie do be gorgeous. Ooh. Mmm. Apple pie is the best. I really wanted pizza too. <laughs> Y'all, we got the pizza. The tornado watch ended. We are all good. I got my pizza. Does it look like the emoji? Not really. This is the best vegan pizza that's close by and also the most affordable that's close by. And they only do square pies and they don't have like vegan pepperoni or anything like that. I got seitan and mushroom on my pizza. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's everything. Mm. I get to do a mukbang stream and hang out with you guys. While it's raining outside, this is literally like my perfect night. Pizza, hang out with you guys, rain, can't be beat. Good morning. It's actually almost noon. But yeah, I'm currently editing this video that you guys are watching. And editing takes a very long time. This is a long-winded way of me saying that I don't really feel like cooking or going grocery shopping right now. I'm gonna be having some pie. I mean, I did say that I wasn't gonna reuse emojis, but I wanna eat this pie before it goes bad, you know? I look like a disaster. Oh my God, I look like a mess. <laughs> oh, I did not sleep good last night, did not sleep good. I got sleep paralysis in the middle of the night and I couldn't fall back to sleep. But I have pie to make me feel better. Mm. I talked about a lot of my sleep paralysis stories on my Twitch. I stream almost every day. It's a lot of fun, come join. If you're not into games, it's okay. I don't always play games. Sometimes I just hang out and I talk to you guys. It's really nice. So come say hi. For a snack, I am having a mug full of popcorn. I'll have the cool like popcorn thing that the emoji has, but I still have popcorn, so I figured it works. Okay, don't judge me. This is my second bowl mug of popcorn, and I've been eating it like this. It's very handy. I'm being efficient. I got my emoji-based lunch I ordered from this taco place. Obviously, I'm going to be basing it off of this emoji right here. However, I also just got a package from my grandma. She had told me on the phone the last time we spoke that she was gonna try to make one of my favorite cookies that she used to make me when I was a kid. She was gonna make them vegan, and she just sent me them. And they look like this. They're these like little sesame Italian cookies, I think. And she would make them every single Christmas for me, my dad, and my mom. So, I'm gonna try it. This is not an emoji, but... Mmm, she did a good job. She's so cute. Nanny, if you're watching this, because I know she, the, she watches my videos, <laughs> thank you. Mm. For lunch though, I also got cookies because apparently these are vegan chocolate chip churro cookies. I know I already did the cookie emoji, but I couldn't resist. You're gonna put chocolate chip churro cookie on a menu. You expect me not to buy it? 
Mm. Oh my God, holy cow, those are good. Oh my days. Now for the tacos. So those are the tacos. Ooh, they smell really good. Mm -hmm. It's tofu chorizo, pico de gallo, and like vegan queso. I think the only slight downside is you can only have two toppings. I got the tofu chorizo in all of them. And then this one I got black beans and shredded lettuce. I'm sorry I looked so uncute today. <laughs> it's just one of those days, you know? Just one of those days. Mm. What did I put in this one? Tofu chorizo, salsa, and lettuce. These are places that I have been wanting to try on Uber Eats. And I just never found like the excuse to try them. So this video came in handy. Mmm. I literally ate that in like six minutes. Oh my god. This cookie is so good. It's like a chocolate chip snickerdoodle. For dinner, I decided to make sushi. It's based off of this emoji. This is what it looks like. This is also kimbap, by the way. If you don't know what kimbap is, it is just Korean sushi. And I know it doesn't look like the sushi emoji, but if you zoom in on this emoji, you will see sushi rolls. <laughs> so I feel like that counted. Sorry if I seem tired. I, I am. <laughs> I'm really tired. Hmm, that is going to conclude this video. Once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you absolutely hated it, which I would not blame you for, you can give a thumbs down. That's okay too. Comment anything else you'd like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly. Also, don't forget about the event Christmas sale that is going on and the code Diana20, site wide Diana25 for orders $199 or above and Diana30 for orders $299 or above that. And those codes are valid until December 27th at 11. 11.59 PST. And of course, before you go, if you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!